big beautiful hydrangeas like this plant we're standing in front of here are a staple in southern gardens and they've been so for decades but sometimes during a hot wet summer you may notice that the leaves start to get a little discoloration so we're here with clark robertson he's a horticultural extension agent in livingston parish to actually talk about this condition so clark what are we seeing these spots on these leaves right here these spots are a good symptom of cercospora leaf spot um, and it's a fungal disease that we see on hydrangeas pretty much every season. So is it particularly wet summers that we see it or are you going to see it almost every summer? Usually every summer, but it mm -hmm. tends to be worse in very wet summers. Okay, so this is a viral or a fungal disease? It's a fungal disease. disease. Okay. And uh, the fungal spores will live throughout the winter on the leaves that have fallen to the ground. Oh, okay. So if we want to prevent this for the next year, what would you advise us to do? It's best to uh, rake up the dead leaves as they fall from the plant. And in really severe cases, you can go ahead and prune off the, um, oh. the diseased leaves. Okay. So um, on a plant like this, would you actually recommend spraying it with anything? Or is this something that we just naturally let progress over the summer season? Most of the time, we'll just let it take its course. Okay. It doesn't do any real harm to the plant. Okay. Occasionally, you will see defoliation. Mm -hmm. But if you were going to treat it, treatment needs to start in the spring to prevent infection from occurring. Okay, so actually before we see the symptoms. Before then. you ever see the symptoms. Okay. Now what about blooming? Will this, you said it won't really affect anything with the foliage uh, long term, but would it affect the blooms the, so for the next year? So if you get early defoliation, you could see reduced blooms. Okay. Uh, but typically it's not going to be an issue. Okay. Yes. All right, Clark. Well, look, thanks for kind of explaining what the situation is because it's a bit of an unknown when your beautiful hydrangea suddenly starts to look Look like it's got spots all over it. Forget it growing. I'm Jason Stagg with Clark Robertson for the LSU Ag Center.